Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today I want to show you this beautiful palace cat, uh, which is a new, uh, no it's not a new mod, it's an older mod. I actually had this mod before, but now it's updated for 1.9. It's made by Maggie. Maggie? I'm not sure, um, but I just want to show you why I want to make these videos, because this picture just doesn't make it justice. Um, it doesn't look sharp at all, it looks a bit weird to be honest. Um, which uh, I know it can be very difficult to take a clear picture of a mod and put up here. Some of the models are good at taking pictures, other of the other models are not that good at taking pictures. But that doesn't mean that they make the, don't make good mods. So I want you to see what I see in this mod. So we got just gonna jump here right into the game and. I will say right away there are some bugs with this mod, but it's not that big of a deal. Here you can see they do swim and here we have, I think it's, yeah, it's the daddy. And in here we have the mommy. Uh, it's not a glitch, it's because I randomly placed this straw above the ground for some weird reason. I'm not sure why. So uh, that's a Maya fault and not the game's fault. Um, but they are very cute and they, the kittens here are very, very cute. They are just born at this point. I think they have three kittens over here. Um, so we're gonna jump right into Zoopedia and see. Again, we got the same picture here as we have on Nexus. And I think it's a shame because it looks that blurry. This blurriness, I will get more into it later when we take the close up. Uh, so if you already turned off by this picture, please wait and I will explain further when we come to the close up. Um, but it is at least concerned animal. There are between 50,000 and uh, 100,000 of them in nature. Palace cat can both be domesticated and live in the wild, which I think is quite uh, amazing. They live in quite a big part of Asia, Asia. Uh, Caspian Sea through through a Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and northern India to central China, Mongolia, and southern Russia. So it's quite a big area it actually lives on. They also live quite a lot of different places. Timbered, grassland, taiga and tundra biomes. So there's a lot of way from the tundra to the grassland. Um, so it is quite easy actually to bring this into your zoo if you feel like it. One of them need 300 square meters of land and uh, eight square meters of uh, what's it called climbing uh, requirements 80 extra square meters of land and um, four extra of climbing if you want another adult and 40 extra land and two extra climbing if it's a baby they live from minus minus 40 degrees celsius to 35 degrees celsius so it's a easy animal to keep a great two fence only but it needs to be climb proof that makes sense uh, and it needs to be at least three meters that's quite hard actually uh, you can only have one of each gender so that's either a couple or a single uh, there's no dominance, but they are polyamorous, <laughs> so I guess it's only with their own gender they don't like to be near. They are shy uh, around human, and therefore humans shouldn't enter the habitat. Uh, there's a tiny difference um, 
between males and females here. Uh, 35 centimeters tail at sh tall at shoulder. So that's shoulder height. And the female is three centimeters shorter. Um, that's oh, that's about a feet. Uh, and it's it's a inch. Uh, the females is a sh inch shorter than the male, uh, roughly. Of course, when I make these translations, they are in my head, so they are roughly, if you want the exact number, it's very easy to Google uh, uh, the more, uh, the real number. Uh, they live for around 12 years and they weigh around 4.5 kilos. That's actually less than my cats. Uh, my cats are six kilos and six and a half kilos. So that's actually less than I thought, uh, but they are very fluffy. So a lot of the fluff is just fur, but 4.5 kilos, that would be around nine pounds. They can uh, breed when they turn one year and they can do that for the rest of their life. They get between two and four babies every other year. That's actually weird because most uh, felines breed every year, but these only does it every second year. Uh, Sometimes it's have something to do when the kittens are grown to an age where they move away. Uh, so uh, some, uh, I think cheetahs is also every second year to every third year, I think. Um, and they're pregnant for three months and they are very difficult to get to breed in captivity. I have never have an issue with these in the game. It took me roughly five minutes to get babies uh, real time here where I fast forward. Uh, in five minutes and then I got babies. Uh, I ha had them before in a zoo. I made a Into the Darkness zoo which only had nocturnal animals and animals that lived in the dark like caves and such. Um, where I actually had them. Which uh, where I, I really didn't have any issues. They reproduce fairly quickly. Um, they don't have any interspecies enrichment, uh, which I don't really know what I feel about because a lot of cats, I think this is kind of a cat in the middle way from a wild big cat to a house cat, kind of the middle stage, if we can put it that way. Um, so I don't find it weird at all uh, that uh, since most cats are solitary, um and don't like uh, anyone or anything that's not what they used to so that's it makes sense uh, they have quite a bit of uh, enrichment items one of them is this tree scratching tree but it's only the pine version the other version it uh, doesn't work then we have this scratching pole it's a big big for those small cats but uh, they make it work then we have this sack of uh, praise in the sack and then this scratching uh, rubbing pad but only this version only this one with the colors not the one with the blocks both cardboard boxes and the icy thing there and they already ate this, so I can't even move it and it comes back. So that's the fro frozen blood pumpkin. Uh, we, I think all of you know it. And then the block of frozen fish. So time for a close up. And I think we're going to go with you because we're going to want to take a dry one. Now, I would appreciate if you look the other way around, but can we change the light? Did that make it better or worse? I'm not sure. 
That made it worse, I think. Okay. So, we're just gonna try again and move you here. You need time to be unstuck. And now I'm just... Really? There. Okay, now we can see the face. And I, w I won't say that it isn't blurry here like it is on the picture. It is. But it's a blurriness that makes sense. Uh, if you look in here, it is extremely detailed. You can see every single individual strand of hair here. It's so good. It's amazing. The eyes actually reminds me of my uh, female cat, the brown one. Uh, eyes, it's so good. Looking here, oh, we have one of these here where we can see through it. Um, we have that on a lot of mats, so I'm not gonna judge for that alone. Sorry, it's always difficult to try and look up in this with this camera. Did we? Okay, now we hit the water. Where is the cat? There. Okay. Um, but the teeth, uh, the color, what's it called? Here you can see the color actually changes color when we go down here, which is amazing. It looks like it has uh, not not literally uh, meat between the teeth, but uh, small uh, imperfections and discoloration, which a lot of animals have. And if you are a cat owner, your cat have n have not yellow teeth. You know that. Uh, maybe if you have a kitten, but if you, and especially if you feed them uh, raw meat, and which I do sometimes, uh, then they do get this coloration. So this is so beautiful. I'm so impressed. I think it's magical almost. The, <laughs> sorry camera again, the patterns, the individual strands it's beautiful then why does it seem so blurry and it's really basically the game's fault the game doesn't have any way to make fluff look natural so if i go in here and look like this in the fur then you can see here in the middle it looks good it actually looks good here where we look straight into the fur but where we look from the side it still looks weird because it have the computer reads all of these layers of fur lying on top of each other and the computer is not sure completely about how to show it we can do the same up here you can see now the back actually looks so much better than it did before and now it's down here it looks weird and here the same if we go into the tail here and i didn't check this before i just assuming but now this looks so much better but this over here looks blurry so it's it's the computer that really can't crack the realism of fluffiness so every single animal in the game that have Fluffiness have two options either like this make it as fluffy as po possible or option B would be making the fluff firm like um, which kind of make it looks like um, plastic uh, that you actually make the animal with out fluffy fur but but just bigger the places where the fur is uh, i think this is the better solution because you get the fluffiness and i can see this mud i used a lot of time on doing this is this the perfect mud no is this a great mud yes um, but by saying that there are a bit of bugs with it besides this one being, if you know, look over here. 
it is the box I'm talking about. Nothing comes out of the box. <laughs> and it just keeps going. Now it opens again. I'm, I didn't click anything. In a minute it will be back and then we just wait and then it opens again. I don't touch anything. It just does that. Uh, I think it's one of the kittens. Yeah, it's one of the kittens that's just glitches. Uh, and that's an issue with this mod. At some point some of them just glitch. And when they glitch, they arrive over here in a box. Uh, one of uh, the adults at one point just ran over here and then glitched out and just arrived over here. Oh, it seemed like I couldn't actually did came out that time but disappeared again. Um, when I got uh, put the two first uh, adult in here, I actually had to uh, swap out the male because he did this and he just wouldn't stop doing this. So I just sold him and then uh, bought a new male and there was no issue is in it. So I assume when this is done, this won't be done at any time soon. <laughs> uh, but uh, when they can grow up, I would automatically uh, sell it. Um, so that is an issue this mod have. Uh, I haven't seen it before when I used it before, so maybe it's a new bug with the 1.9 update. Or maybe it's just my computer that does something weird. Um, there it come! It came Did you see? It did came out. It did came out. <laughs> um, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Uh, I intend to uh, contact Maggie. Uh, uh, or how we wanted to pronounce it and and tell her about that um, so she can fix it in if she wants to um, oh it's out it it just jumped two times and then back in the box um, again I don't know why um, but let's take a look at one of the other kittles uh, it isn't that big of an issue for me because honestly I I look at the animals when I make a habitat and then again when I uh, go in for the cinematic and I enjoy what I build and that kind of stuff and then afterwards I really don't do that much um, with it after that. Uh, I just want this to dry up a bit so we can actually <laughs> look at it. Um, uh, so, so for me this isn't that big of an issue when it grows up. I was going to sell it anyway. So th that's it's okay for me. But if you really enjoy keep looking at the same animals over and over again in the same zoo in the same habitat. That might be a deal breaker for you, but it really isn't for me. Um, don't jump in the water. I just want to show you a dry one. Uh, because when they're wet, there really ain't an issue. Mm, I think it's kind of dry now. Yeah, I think so. So I'm just gonna... Turn the clock here again. So, this is a baby. It is 0 0.3 years old. And uh, when we go in here, it's it's kind of clear to see this is a kitten. Uh, I know some adult cat looks like this, but compared to the adult we just looked at, this does look uh, more kitten-ish. Uh, the small ears here are so cute. I know the adults also had those uh, very small ears, um, which I didn't mention, <laughs> sorry. Um, but they're just so cute. You can see the whiskers here. I don't know. That's. I don't know when you watch this video if you see it in which kind of resolution you see it in but here i can clearly see 
the wish girls which i think uh, for me is a trademark by the cats i know other animals also have them but for me it screams cat when you have whiskers so it means a lot to me that they're there even though most people won't notice them when they, you just play the game out here um but again we have the same issue with the fluffiness it's actually not that bad as it was on the adult here you can see it's a bigger area that actually looks good than it was on the adult but we do end up with the same issue all around so cute little cutie pie and here the teeth are also they will hurt like a bitch but baby teeth are cu so cute um so yeah besides sorry uh besides that little bug i actually think this mud is so cute and for a cat lover like me and honestly i always been a dog person until i was told i couldn't have a dog and then i thought well then i just have to get a cat because i need to have some animals and then fall in love with my cat and now i apparently a cat person <laughs> um but they are so cute uh kind of look like you drown dry drowning a bit uh, the way your face is up here uh, but I do like the swimming animation here with the tail moving backwards and forward and the doggy paddle. It's very cute. Can we also see an adult swim? Yay, we can. The thing about glitching into the ground here also, the uh, animals for the game does the same, so that's not an issue. You should keep swimming so I could see you swimming. What about you? Would you please swim if I put you there? Yay! Here, the adults swim a bit weird here. It's like the nose is above water, but the mouth is beneath. Uh, so they are placed a bit too low in the water, but it's really not the worst we have seen. If you watch mo uh, a lot of my videos, there's quite a few mud videos up there at this time. All in the same playlist, so you can just start from and end if you want to. Um, so a lot of the other muds actually swim back down here. So this is much better. I just want to show you the wet coat here. It is of course darker, but it's also like kind of looks like it's less fluffy now, which I, I I like the big difference in that you can see when it's wet. Um, here you can see the other adult again swimming a bit too low in the water. Um, but again, not the biggest issue we have at this point. So uh, that's all I wanted to show you today, guys. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again at the end the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.